Good morning, West Palm Beach. This is Hillary Musser from Hillary Musser Homes. I'm here today with our project manager, Stuart McGregor. Hello, all. <laughs> Stuart, tell us about this junk removal program you've got going on. This is uh, our best find in town. Uh, when you have limited space for a dumpster and you need to have the garbage removed about 20 yards at a time, this guy's great. Comes in, loads it himself, carts it out for about $450 for 20 yards. So dumpster company is not happy to hear that, but it's working out great for us. Junk removal. All right, let's go. Today, we have a lot going on here. And you're going to see a lot of changes from our last video. This machine is the stucco machine. As you can see, the house has been stuccoed. And our slabs have arrived from Italy. You can see over here the beautiful pebble tile uncovered. It's magnificent, large format slabs, as well as this beautiful blue glass, which is going into the cabana bathroom. This is for the master. This is called Wave. This is a beautiful fluorine tile, and this is going into one of the guest bedrooms. So let's go in. All right, well now you're gonna see how much has changed in this house, and I'm going to turn it over to Stuart, who has made it all happen just over the last two weeks. Stuart, tell us, tell us what's new. So I think in our last video, we were rough electric, rough plumbing, no drywall. As you can see, drywall's in place. You might notice the different color boards. We opted to go with a product called Quiet Rock on all the exterior walls and the ceilings between the first and second floors and some of the offices and bathrooms. You'll see the gray cement board is the areas that are gonna be receiving more of the slabs and tile. And as you walk through, you can see the view now that we've got some of the plastic down and you can see the, uh, the balance of the piles going in for the uh, boat lift. You can also get a good view of the gym out back. And in here, if anyone who's watching the videos for a second time, this is the club room a little bit further along. You get oh, an idea of what's happening with all the ceiling detail. We, we cut in for a new window. We're still waiting for that. So just a little last minute change. I promised Stuart we wouldn't have any of those, but we couldn't resist, but we all agreed it was worth yeah, it. Yeah, that was absolutely worth it. Right. So as you look forward, we are in the living room, looking at one side of a two-sided fireplace with a TV in between in the living room. Well, Stuart, these are on the way. Yeah. In fact, we cut the, the check for them yesterday, and they're going to be here within two weeks, two peninsula fireplaces. See-through. Op well, open, no glass. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be very cool. All right, as you go through the living room, you'll start to see the ceilings taking shape. All the two and three tiered ceilings with LED lights projecting up on the ceiling. For anybody who knows anything about drywall, you might look at that ceiling and say, why are those lights installed the way they are? It's because they get a wood, a wood finished ceiling. So the, the hi-hat can set to be adjusted to receive the wood. Oh, do we have a piece of that wood we yeah. can look at? Yeah, it's in the garage. Oh. Yeah. Fadi, let's go to the garage really quickly and take a look at our delivery. This is the one that I'm the most excited about. I found this product in Miami uh, from a manu well, a, not a manufacturer, but a, a, a dealer by the name of Arca. And this will be my first time seeing it. So. so this is the tongue and groove ceiling pattern. Uh, you know what? This looks like mud. I'm sorry to say I'm going to have to be giving my salesperson a call. This is not the color that I ordered. It was a variation of walnut, and um, this is not acceptable. You get the idea how it goes so together. So anyway, though. this is sometimes what happens in building. Quality control, opening the boxes when you get them, making sure that it's the product you ordered, just like we did with the tile, and that was perfect. No chips, perfect, the, the right quantity, and this is bad. Well, Stuart, let's move on upstairs to something more positive. But you can tell in the building world, not everything goes your way. We have two guys that have come here all the way from Houston who are expert slab t 
tile installers, and they have done the most magnificent job I have ever seen. Oh my God, look at how these guys put that on. Look at those stilts. Say hi to Palm Beach. We're on our pink hard hat video. What's your name? Brian. Brian. These guys are doing a great job. Brian's with Oscar's company, Barch's Drywall. Very good, very professional. Be careful over there. We have your insurance certificate, right? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> all right. Get a shot of the ceiling. Once again, all the detail on all the ceiling shows up. Doesn't look like much now, but eventually with all the LED washing the ceilings from a ledge you can't see. So here's a sample. Looks like somebody's getting it to cut around a toilet, but this is a sample of one of the slabs how they cut them on the field very precisely, and you'll see a few pieces installed in the master bathroom. Okay. Stuart, I think this project is causing me to lose some weight. My, my belt is coming off. That's good. Yeah. You probably just got less money in your pocket. <laughs> a lot less money. <laughs> anyway, check out the master bathroom. Oh, my God. Look at this pebble tile. Floor, to, floor to ceiling, hardwood floor in here. Unusual, but... It'll look great. Top mount, jacuzzi tub, soaking tub coming in, and that's the shower. Totally enclosed in glass with a steam unit. And that thing in the ceiling right there is actually the tub filler. It fills from the ceiling. This is the niche for the bathtub. This is a Kohler spillover bathtub, uh, 360 degrees. It's going to be very cool when it actually arrives. This will be the only thing that has been on perpetual back order it's since gonna we come, started. It's going to come with the stairs, I think. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. right. And these are niches that, that will be expertly and seamlessly installed, you know, to put your accoutrements for... Yeah, for like mayonnaise. You know. may mayonnaise, good idea. <laughs> this is the upstairs kitchen. This is why we have no tile here, because this will be completely covered with cabinetry. And then you come around here, we have a spa area. And then we have, we have our tile guys say hi to Palm hi. Beach. We are, hello, hello, they are hello, doing hello. a beautiful job. A beautiful job. There they are. That's the, that yeah, dead corner that. back there is the sauna. Right. You can see the ceiling, the speakers and the lights. That's the ceiling that eventually go in there. Beautiful. And we're standing by the shampoo station and the pedicure station. Right. This is a little mini spa in the back of the master bathroom. You know, after COVID, people started doing things at home, and now no one wants to go anywhere. So you can work out here, and you can have your hair washed and your nails done, and take a sauna. And, and a steam shower. Don't forget that. And outside there, they're driving the pilings. They're actually moving them. We readjusted the dock, we decided, and uh, they've come back to move the piles. And there's the barge from B&M Marine. So... You can see the smile on the pile driver from here. Yeah. He's thrilled to death about moving piles. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this is a guest bathroom. This is a beautiful greenish-blue marble tile, as you can see in slabs. This, this is what you can't get a very good glimpse of that's in the bathroom there. I don't know if this is any better. It's kind of dark in yeah, here. Yeah, it's beautiful. And all the other minor loose ends that are starting to happen. You can see the roof is loaded. Roof tile will start to get installed in about a week. If you look up, you'll see over there where that framing is missing. The underside of the soffit by the gutters, that's going to get a, a walnut material, tongue and groove, throughout the whole perimeter of the outside. That's going to be happening next week, maybe a little longer depending on the delivery date. So we are really excited about this progress. We are uh, 90 days and counting down till completion. Actually, I think 80 Less, days. Yeah. 80 days, this house will be ready for, you know, a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a temporary certificate of occupancy, maybe not a final, but that's our goal. Thanks to Stuart. That's it. All right. See you later, West Palm Beach. Bye for now. This is Hillary Musser from Hillary Musser Homes. You can read about us and look me up on hillarymusserhomes.com. Thank you and have a great day. Guys, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube videos. These are the pink hard hat interview series by Hillary Musser. 
and this time we're at 3208 Washington Road where we'll be for five more months till we're done and then we're going to take you down the street to our next project a beautiful modern house on Southern Flagler thanks guys remember like comment and subscribe have a great day